Hello everyone, and today this is a um, the first part of a two-part video series talking about how to make an animation using Google Slides. So on the first part of the video here, we're actually talking about just how you basically create uh, the animation. Now it's going to be kind of rudimentary, but that's okay. So I have a blank Google Slide open, and what we're going to do is we're going to use each of our slides like they're a frame in an animation. So in my blank one here, I'm not going to use any themes. Um, you could add a background if you wanted, but uh, I'm not going to do that today because this is just going to be a very simple, basic animation. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off uh, anything on my Google Slides. So I'm just going to click and hold and drag my mouse so I can delete stuff in here. And now what I have to do is, um, for, I want to make sure I name this, so I'm going to change my name to uh, Animation Demo. And now that way I can find this again if I need to. Now I'm just going to do a simple stick figure. Um, because that's what I want to animate. So I'm going to come up to my toolbar here, and I can see there's shapes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my own character. Now, you could download something off the internet or something like that, but it, it won't animate as well. Um, so this is going to look kind of simple and clunky, but it will animate really well. So I'm going to grab a circle tool here, a little circle shape. I'll draw a shape here. Then I'm going to use a line. I'm going to make a body. Uh, let's see here. If you hold down shift, when you're moving this around, you can get it nice and straight. Now let's add some feet. I'll add another foot. Or leg, I guess. Put that in there. Let's do some arms. Here's one arm. And here's another arm. So now I have a little person. Now you could go more in depth here. You could create a whole little face. Uh, you know what, let's do that. Let's draw a little oval here. We'll put a little oval there. Then I'm actually gonna copy that. And I'll paste, so I have two eyes. They're the same. There we go. And we'll give them a little mouth. Let's grab this guy. And oh, let's go to our line tool and we'll use a little scribble. Now he's got a face. So what we're gonna do is, let's say first we want to just kind of animate, um, let's say a jumping jack. Kind of nice, something simple. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this slide, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm gonna paste. So now I have two identical slides. But what I can do is I can make a small change in this to make it look like something's happening. So a jumping jack, you move your arms up and down. So let's take an arm and I'll move it kind of down. Now, the more drastic the change, the more it kind of looks. Uh, but one thing with Google Slides is when we learn the part where we animate it, you can only do uh, one second changes. So you may want to do bigger changes so you get more of an animation. So now if I look between the two, I can click, and use my up and down arrows, and I can see what the animation looks like. So maybe what I can do is if I want to cheat a little bit, I'm going to copy this slide. Oh, copy, and then let's paste. So now you can kind of see the little animation there. So let's do the same thing. I'll copy this one, paste. And maybe I'll do one more of these for good measure. So pretty quickly, I have a nice simple animation here of someone doing a jumping jack. Now maybe after our jumping jacks, we want the character to start walking off the screen. So I'm going to copy this slide. All right, and I'm going to paste it. So now I have two identical ones. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start having this character walk off the screen. So what I can do is I'm going to highlight this whole guy. Oh, do, 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 highlight the whole thing. I'm going to use my right arrow key to notch him over a couple. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of move his arms a little bit. So you get the idea that he is in motion. And maybe I'll kind of move the feet so it looks like he stepped in a direction. So you can kind of see you get a little waddle. I'll copy that one. And let's paste. This is where uh, keyboard shortcuts can be really useful. I'll highlight the guy again, move him over a little bit. 
And let's move the legs. And we'll move the arms a little bit. And let's copy. I'm going to start using keyboard shortcuts. Control C, Control V. Oops. Let's click that slide. Control C, Control V. And we'll move them over a little bit. Sometimes the more exaggerated movements it is, the brain kind of fills in the little holes. And so even though there's not animation in between each one, the brain kind of figures out the motion in there. It knows what should have happened. So it's kind of a little trick that you can use to uh, save yourself some work. If you wanted something less jumpy, you could add in more slides in between the motions, but at the same time, that's more work for you. Uh, and like I said, the, the limitation with Google Slides is you can only advance every one second. And so therefore, you know, somebody's got to have the little bigger movements. Otherwise, it'll be like the world's longest video. And let's just kind of make this the last one. And what I'll do is I'll kind of start at the top and I'll kind of just arrow through to see what it looks like. There you go, so you see you have jumping jacks and he walks over that way. Kind of cool. Now if you wanted to make this a little longer, you can kind of use a little animation trick, or I guess cheat in the end. But if I figure out where he starts moving, right here, I'm gonna take all these slides, I'm gonna copy them. So I'm gonna click slide six. I'm gonna hold down shift to go down to slide number 10. I'm gonna copy those and then I'm gonna paste them. So what I did is I kind of have this little setup here, but I'm going to take this all and reverse it right up here so that it looks, oh, you know what? I did that wrong. I need these up here. And I'll reverse my order, and what you'll see is I can take that same animation that I used at the end and make it an intro to the video. So now you see he actually walks to the center, starts his jumping jacks, and then he walks away. So it's a neat little way that you can make an animation um, and then kind of cheat a little bit and not have to keep reanimating everything. You can keep reusing uh, ones that you already did uh, to kind of cool, create different effects. So that's the end of the first part of the video. In the next part of the video, the, you'll learn how to take it and make it uh, automated so that when someone goes to the link, the animation automatically starts. Thanks for watching and have a great day.